Good morning and welcome back to Heartbeat of the Timbavati. We were so fortunate to find two lions this morning. Much further north, so after the previous episode of a Skoro male with a Mayambula lioness. We do hop over to another side of the spectrum and we are viewing the Nymphuela male, one of the River Pride lionesses. The grass is so tall at the moment, but luckily they moved out of it and they decided to come remain static on the road. But it is just after 8 o'clock on a morning safari and it is a lovely morning in the Timbavati Game Reserve. As you can see there's a slight breeze and all the wet soils is getting quite a bit of time to bake in the African sun drying out the soil a little bit, make things easier for traversing out here. But compared to the older Skoro male that we see on the pre that we saw on the previous episode, you can see that this male's mane is not that full. A little bit lighter of color as well. The Vuelas are in fact slightly younger than the Skoro males, probably a year or so. So this boy would be following every movement of this lioness. They've probably been together for the last two, three days, maybe at the, the, at the end of the courtship or at the very start, who knows. There is two adult river pride lionesses with the young princess and then the younger one that was still walking with the three young river pride males. The trilogy of males that looked after the river pride establish themselves where the Mayambulas are currently. Now their lives have changed with the Skoro boys moving in. You can see the tree line of the Mashaton River. So much further north than where the Mayambula lionesses gave birth to their cubs. The latest addition to their pride, the six youngsters that unfortunately some of them didn't make it, hasn't been seen again. They were sort of born close to this area where the Buella males are occupying at the moment. But some more lions on honeymoon. We've been seeing quite a bit of poor chips between especially Vuela brothers and the River Pride lionesses, possibly a Sark breakaway lioness. Yeah, we're going to sit here for a while and hopefully they get up and move a little bit more just to give us a better visual or at least of the front of their faces.
All the behaviors I've described before happening there, turning on the back, helps with conceiving, another instinctual behavior. Well, that action would happen every 15 minutes to in half an hour. The more they mate in that three to four days, the better the chances of conceiving. Can you imagine the River Pride having more cubs? Oh. Can't wait. See, quite a bit of uh, wear and tear in the left ear there, so I'm suspecting this might be the young princess. Slight bit of pinkishness on the nose there as well. So young lionesses typically quite low in their fertility in the first couple of years of their lives. They're going to have to mate a lot of time before they conceive to have their first cubs. She is approaching three and a half. Almost four years old, and that is about their time to have their first cubs. Well, I'm coming to you from the Timbavati Game Reserve. I'll be sure to update you on their movements and progression as they establish them as a new pride. The Voyelas and the River Pride. Who would have said years ago that the Voyelas will move so far north and establish themselves here? Let's see how it plays out with the arrivals, the Skoro males to the southeast with the Mayan Bulas. We'll watchfully keep an eye on the progression and the movements of the lions in the Timbavati Gardens. This was Christoph Skuban. Wherever you find yourself in this world, stay safe and cheers for now.